Williamsburg, on the radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. He could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah. About... You can save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. Not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. What if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of him. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. <sighs> All right. Just keep in touch. Hope Felicia's lead was right. Got to get to Tombstone before Craven crosses him off his list, too. suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yes, the world. Most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider-Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Men inspire. And why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now, how about some hands? 